Joining me now to discuss more on the PACE trial is Professor Michael Sharp from the University of Edinburgh. Thanks for joining us. Michael, can you describe to us the purpose of the study and what some of your findings were? Chronic fatigue syndrome, sometimes called ME, is a relatively common condition. Estimates about a quarter of a million people in the UK. It causes predominantly fatigue, but a range of other symptoms, and it can be profoundly disabling, uh, rendering people unable to conduct normally da normal daily activities. And the trial is a large UK-wide trial, 640 patients, everybody got specialist medical care, and then one group got CBT, one APT, and one graded exercise. So that was the design of the trial, and we looked at how they affected fatigue and physical function a year after entry into the trial, and after they'd had six months of those treatments. And how significant were the findings? The trial actually produced quite clear findings, and those findings were that the two treatments, cognitive behaviour therapy and GET, produced clearly better outcomes in terms of both fatigue and physical functioning, in fact in a range of other subsidiary measures we used, whereas pacing uh, really performed at about the same level as standard medical care. So the treatments differentiated into those two groups of outcomes. There were a lot of variables in the study as well, weren't there? For instance, the consistency and quality of the therapy given. How did you deal with those issues? Yes. Well, this was a trial was conducted to MRC guidelines, uh, which are quite rigorous in terms of independent scrutiny. So there's an independent trial steering committee, independent data monitoring committee. Um, in terms of delivering a non-drug treatment, that, that raises special challenges of having to standardise the treatment you give very carefully, as you would standardise the drug. So the therapists are based on manuals, they're audio recorded, and those checked for quality. Now, 250,000 people in the UK have chronic fatigue syndrome. It's clearly a big issue. Are you surprised that there hasn't been a large study into this area so far? Well, there have been quite a lot of publications, a number of thousands of publications, the majority of which are focused on to trying to understand the cause of the illness. Um, there have been relatively few leads into what might be effective treatment, and two of the treatments we tested, CBT and GET, have had relatively small trials done before. Uh, this is the first la really large one that's been done. Um, these trials are not easy to do, and they take a long time to do, but I hope that the having delivered a trial successfully with very excellent participant uh, uh, um, contribution to the trial, uh, I hope that will actually set the scene for people doing more similar trials in the future. Professor Michael Sharp, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.